Okay guys, so today we'll be doing the post-mortem task and it's a very interesting task. So it talks about um, when issue occurs, um, probably on your server or people not accessing your product or any issue that happens and then um, it's the blaming the person that probably um, is at fault. So it's not about blaming the person, it's about finding solution and making sure that solution doesn't repeat again um, in a kind of hope so the noise around me is, is, is much so I'm just trying to um, put my mic close to my mouth so um, basically that's it is just um, solving the issue and making sure that issue doesn't reoccur you understand it's normal for issues to occur and making sure that um, blames are not passed to the person at fault. Like everybody just take the blame. Nobody's being pointed to, and this is done just to make sure that the person at fault would definitely want to talk because he knows he's not going to be blamed for that um, action. Though we humans, we would always we are wired to blame or put blame on people, but the major thing about this is that the blame will not be there. Okay, so. Um, so I've, I've, I've actually done this task just now so i'll just be going through it and reviewing it with you guys okay so that's basically it so this task says that um we should based on um the web debugging tasks we've done in the past or um or you can just formulate one yourself find like you should just um just create a scenario in your head where you have this issue and then try and fix it like try a scenario in your head or use a debugging tags you've done in the past so this one I'll be using web debugging 2 or 1 I think 1 and then we'll check through it and then um, see what I did so it says in the in your so you're just going to write like a, um, a, a file if you check uh, if you check it we have this readme as our file so everything you're going to create this repository which is what i did here and after you've created the repository you're going to create a readme and inside my readme if you vi my readme sorry i'm using my one one and two to type so um so we're going to create a file readme and this other one is just to um, create a a picture so we're supposed to take a picture that is attractive because people would probably not want to read the file so create an attractive um, image to um, make sure your post attractive by adding rumor a pretty diagram or anything that would catch your audience attention you get so um this blog must be written in english for further blah 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 so everything will be in our readme file as you can see fine so that's what we did here and what we then did was we had to answer these questions and then put them in our readme add the pictures to them so i added two pictures and i answered this question the first thing is that the duration the out stage so web debugging one has said let, let me just open um the the link to that task and you're gonna see it so i think that will be better but the first question is um we're going to talk about when the outage started and when you fixed it you get and then um what was the impact was it that it affected everybody so web debugging one talks about um um web start debugging one talks about um the, I think the issue in that code or that debugging task was that the site was not being accessed because after written, writing the configuration, it wasn't um, enabled. The configuration was just written and it wasn't enabled, making it hard for people to visit it. If you can see, the write up says this one is still loading. This one says, What is the issue? Duration of the outage. The duration started 11 45 a.m probably when i started the task and i got it got resolved at 12 45 pm that's like one hour the site was not listening on port 80 causing all users to be 
unable to access the website okay so the next thing is that what is the root causes and all these questions are questions which we are supposed to answer from um, what ALS gave us so the next thing is what is the root causes the nginx server site setting are not properly linked so you didn't link the site um, available to the site enabled so the site available configuration was not linked to site enabled meaning that the configuration was correct but not activated preventing users from accessing the site so all users were not able to access the site so a timeline breakdown of what happened so 11 45 a.m the issue was detected when alx the issues was so sorry about this the issue was detected when alx the platform attempted to access the website sorry i'm so sorry these people keep shouting in my head so the issue was detected when alx platform attempted to access the website and found it unresponsive ALX monitoring alert indicated that the site was down. I will just put the link to this um, readme. So I created a readme and I created um, created two images. I uploaded the images and then linked the images on my read, readme. So like this is the image for the UMO. Is this technical? And it, as you can see, it's been linked that in this directory. There's a, a a um picture called this so it access that and at the end as well you scroll down to the end you see here uh, for the last one which is the flow charts okay so these images were generated by chat for me i just gave it the prompt and it helped me and so you don't need to stress yourself too much so and all the questions were just answered and how i solved everything so when was the issue detected um, actions taken, the script I wrote to solve the, um, the the problem, and all that. This is what I did, and here is the readme. As you can see, the picture is very attractive. Um, discovery, investigation, solution, majorly what it's all about, and then the issue summary, the impact, the root causes. The timeline where everything happened, how it got resolved, and the site was back online. The root causes, resolution, correction, and prevention measures, um, the task list, um, the scripts which was run, which is this, and then another the flow diagram, and that's how it ended. So if you have any question, I'll put this link in the description so you can access it go through it write your own it might not be web stack debugging one yours might be two yours might just be you creating something on your head so um, i'll see you in the next one guys